Welcome back to Achki Chop. My name is Krista and today we're gonna to be making fatouche salad. Fatouche salad is super delicious, really refreshing. It's got all these beautiful fresh herbs, crispy cucumbers, onions, tomatoes. It's awesome. It's also got these beautiful dressing of citrus and pomegranate molasses and sumac. And today in the kitchen, we're gonna be using the Meze Origin Spice Collection. Um, this collection features all six of these beautiful spices. They're my favorite flavors from the Middle East. For the fatouche salad, we're gonna focus on the sumac. So let's get started. So first we're gonna start off by chopping our lettuce. I like to use little gem lettuce for my fatou salad. Um, it's got like the sweetness to it and it's also super crispy and really easy to throw together. You wanna kinda of break up the lettuce pieces a bit as you're putting them in. If you can't find little gems, you can actually just use romaine lettuce. Next we're gonna chop up our cucumbers. Now we're gonna add just a few cherry tomatoes. I'm just gonna cut these in half, keep it pretty simple. And we're gonna add a little bit of green bell pepper. Just some nice thin slices of green bell pepper. And a few slices of red onion. Not too much, just a few nice slices. Next we're gonna add some fresh radish. I love adding radish to salad, this like beautiful peppery flavor. All right, here we go. And feel free to play with whatever ingredients you have in your fridge. Uh, this is just my favorite combination of ingredients. So let's get into these fresh herbs. Next, we're gonna add some mint. So we're just gonna remove the leaves from the stems. I'm gonna give those a nice chop. Try to bundle them up real tight. Tuck everything in. So we've added our mint, and now the other herbs are not necessarily the most traditional. I actually learned this recipe from a good friend of mine in Lebanon. So she actually had a beautiful herb garden, and she loved to grow everything. So she would just walk outside, grab whatever was looking fresh that day, throw it into her fatou salad, and that's how we ended up with this recipe. So here we have some fresh dill. Now you don't wanna beat your dill up too hard, so we're just gonna give it a really gentle chop. You wanna keep it nice and fluffy. After dill, we're just gonna add a little bit of fresh basil. Now you might have a hard time finding some of these fresh herbs in your local supermarket, depending on where you live, um, but these are all also available dry. And if you're gonna use them dry, I recommend you add them to your salad dressing instead of directly into the salad. That'll kind of help hydrate them, wake them up, bring out the best of their flavors. And we're just gonna roll it real tight and chiffonade. Ta-da! Now my favorite fresh herb to add to my fatou salad is actually kind of unexpected. It's fresh tarragon but it just, it, it just, it takes the salad to a whole new level. It gives it that flavor of like, wait, what is that? And it tastes a little familiar, um, but you don't really see it in, a, in salads very often. And it's kind of a shame because it's a beautiful ingredient. So we're just gonna throw in a little bit of fresh tarragon, give that another gentle chop like we did with our dill. You don't wanna crush the herbs too much um, because then they'll just get wilted really, really fast and they'll lose some of their beautiful flavor. Okay, so now we're gonna make some pita chips to add to our salad. And these pita chips are going to be seasoned with sumac as well. So uh, we've just picked up some pita bread from our local Middle Eastern market or bakery. So we're just gonna cut them down into these one inch strips and then we're gonna chop those into just small little chips that we're gonna add to our salad. So think of these as like the croutons of your fatouche salad and really a fatouche salad is not a fatouche salad without the pita chips. You know, you have that crispy um, freshness from the little gem lettuce, 
but you need these because they add just this amazing crunchiness to the texture of the salad. So we're just gonna pop these into the oven. Um, we're gonna pop them in at about 350, just as is. We're not gonna put any oil or anything yet. We're gonna dry them out, make them nice and crispy. So our pita chips went into the oven and got nice and golden brown. Um, and now we're gonna toss them with a little bit of olive oil and sumac. And the reason I put them in the oven without anything first is because it helps speed up the process. It dries out the bread really quickly. And then you just toss them in one last time. All right, so once we get the oil and the sumac coated evenly on the chips, we're just gonna spread them back out onto the tray. We're gonna pop that tray back into the oven just for a couple minutes, and then we can add that to our salad. And in we go. All right, so now it's time to make our dressing for our, our fatouche salad. We're gonna start with a little bit of a freshly crushed or chopped garlic. We're gonna add olive oil. We're gonna add some pomegranate molasses. Now this is one of my favorite secret ingredients in the kitchen. Not a lot of people use pomegranate molasses in their cooking, but I like to put it on chicken, I like to put it in my salad dressings, I like to put it in my desserts. It's this beautiful tangy sweet syrup. And then we're gonna add a little bit of fresh lemon juice with a tiny bit of salt. And the star of the show is the meze sumac. Sumac is actually a berry and it's dried and then it is crushed to make this beautiful spice. It's got this amazing citrus flavor, so it's a great alternative to even lemon sometimes in recipes, um, but it still has like this earthiness to it. So it's a really well-balanced flavor, and you can use it in anything. So you can whisk this, you can put it in a blender, but I'm actually just gonna shake it up. So our pita chips came out of the oven and we set them aside. You wanna let them cool all the way down before adding them to your salad so that the greens don't get wilted. So now we have our salad. We're just gonna hit this with a little bit of salt. And before I start mixing in the dressing, I'm just gonna give this a little toss. So you probably won't use all of this dressing and that's okay, you can save the extra, put it in the fridge. Just make sure it stays refrigerated because it does have raw garlic in it. So add a little bit at a time. And then I like to add a, a little bit of the pita chips in while I'm mixing the salad, but I always reserve a few for the top. Okay, nice and mixed. I'm gonna transfer this into a pretty bowl. And I love serving fatu salad in these wide, shallow bowls. It just puts all of the layers of these flavors and these beautiful fresh ingredients on full display. And we're just gonna hit with a tiny bit more salt just to finish it off and garnish with the remainder of our pita chips. Oh, I can't wait to eat this. Now the last little piece, just a sprinkle more, tiny bit of sumac. So there you have it, Fatouche salad. Super easy, super refreshing. Everyone will enjoy it. Thank you so much for watching Achiki Chop. We hope you enjoyed this recipe. Uh, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And you can find your sumac along with the entire Origin Spices collection at mezespices.com. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you next time.